Hello everyone, Darren from Eileen. One very cool product from Dintec is the pass-through easy plug. Now the first time I saw one of these, I thought it was a bit strange, but now having used them, I've decided they're actually a very, very neat idea. Instead of butting the wires up inside a standard plug, which takes a bit of skill to get right, with these I push the wires all the way through the plug and out the other side. Let's take a closer look. First, we'll need a few tools like the Dintec UTP STP cable strippers, the Dintec pass through easy plug crimp tool, and some cutting pliers. I'm using Dintec's Cat6 unshielded solid core cable today, which has thick 23AWG conductors, which are thicker than I'm used to in the Cat5E cable I was using back in the day. There's a few other differences, like a plastic spacer in the centre, and it has much tighter twists, which make it a thicker cable overall. Just as a comparison, here's some Cat6A unshielded cable, which has an even larger space and making it almost twice the thickness of Cat6. The Dintec UTP STP cable strippers have a built in cable cutter, so we can cut that bit off. They also have an adjustable blade to suit different thickness cables. You want to set the blade so that it just scores the cable sheath rather than cutting all the way through it and risk nicking the copper conductors and causing faults. Before we strip any cable though, we want to slip the boot on and push it down the cable out of the way. Strip off some cable sheath. About 50mm is usually enough, but it doesn't matter if you go a bit crazy. The extra wires are going to be trimmed off at the end anyway and a bit of extra length makes it easier to get the wires through the plug. Cut off this bit of rip cord and then separate the pairs. And cut out the plastic spacer in the centre. Now we need to untwist all the wires. I'll speed this bit up. The trick to getting the connector on easily is getting the wires as straight as possible. Because we're working with Cat6 which has thicker wires and tighter twists than Cat5e, the easiest way is to use a screwdriver or the handle of a tool. Cat5e you can usually just do with your fingers. Now we need to put the wires in the right order. I'm using the T568A standard here, which is the standard we use here in Australia. At this point now, if we were using a standard RJ45 plug, like the Dintec One Piece Standard RJ45 Cat6 connector, we'd need to cut the wires to the right length. This is basically just holding it up to the connector to determine the length by seeing how much sheath we need to fit inside the plug. With pass-through easy plugs though, we just give the ends a trim so that they're all even. Now we can push the wires all the way through the connector and pull snugly into place. Now 
At this point we can double check that all of our wires made it all the way through and that they're still all in the right order. Now we can push the boot up into place. I'm using Dintec's Easy Lock boots here which have a tab to prevent the clip being pressed so the cable can't be accidentally pulled out of a patch panel or switch. The tab is easily removable though when it does need to come out again. Insert into the pass through easy plug crimp tool. To get the connector all the way in, if the clip of the boot won't go into the tool easily, you might need to bend it up. This one though is fitting in for me, no worries. And crimp and trim the wires all in one action. Job done! Okay, that's definitely easier and more accurate than old school standard plugs, but are they faster? Let's find out. And they're often racing, standard plug on the left and pass through easy plug on the right. A slight fumble with the UTP STP strippers by easy plug and standard plug takes the lead. And standard plug first into the wire straightening phase with easy plug not far behind. Easy plug now nudging slightly ahead into the wire sorting phase and they're head to head into the wire trimming home straight. Oh but wait, I've concentrated a couple of wires in standard plug and I've also cut them a bit long. But too bad, that's what happens in the real world so no do-overs. Easy plug crosses the line at 3 minutes 22 seconds, standard plug still stumbling. A bit of re-straightening by standard plug and a fresh trim to get rid of that extra couple of millimetres. And standard plug finally over the line at 4 minutes and 36 seconds. Okay, so yes, they are a bit faster as it turns out, but using either plug will get faster with more experience, so that speed difference might become more negligible in time. But when we're talking about time, we also need to factor in not just the time it takes to fit a plug, but also the accuracy. How many times will we get a standard plug wrong versus how many times we might muck up a pass-through plug? With a standard plug, it's fairly normal to get a few wrong from time to time. A wire won't have gone all the way in, or a couple of wires might switch places while you're pushing them in, and tracking down a fault and fixing it at the end of a job takes up a lot more time than it does to fit a plug in the first place. With the pass-through easy plug, you can easily see all the wires to check that they're all in the right places, and that they're all the way past the contact points before you crimp. And it's going to be very difficult to get one of these wrong, and that's where you're really going to save time. Getting it right first time, every time, is where these really shine. As an example, I had a few test runs prior to filming, and it turned out that quite a few of my standard connectors were duds. Sure, I'm a bit rusty and I haven't done much with Cat 6 before, and it is a bit harder to work with than Cat 5e, but I've got eyes and all of these look pretty good to me before I stuck them into the continuity tester and learned otherwise. I knew straight away though that my standard connectors were the most likely problem, so I cut those off and put pass-through plugs on instead, and bang, perfect first time. Another aspect I noticed afterwards with pass-through plugs is that I'm getting the cable much further into the plug, so my twists are much closer to the contacts, and that's a performance advantage, especially with Cat 6 and above, and I did that quite naturally without even realising I was doing it. So, a very interesting product which is not only easier to use, but more accurate, which is going to be a huge time saver, and with a performance advantage to boot. You can check them out in more detail at www.dintech.com.au or email us at sales at dintech.com.au. I'll also include links in the description below to all of the products and tools I just used. Don't forget to give us a like and click the subscribe button below. Please also check us out and follow us on Facebook and Twitter under the Dintech Australia name. Thanks and bye for now.